everyone. I'm Christine from the Hollowbrook branch of the Mercer County Library System, and today I'm going to show you how to sew a reusable fabric gift bag. Now, I have been trying to reduce the amount of single-use items that I consume, and that would include wrapping paper. So this year for the holidays, I decided to make a lot of my gift bags. So last year, after the holiday season was over, I went to the fabric store and I bought lots of holiday fabrics when they were on sale so that I could make my bags this year. You could also um, use any fabrics to make these bags for other occasions. They're great for birthdays and graduations and things like that as well. Um, so I'm going to start by showing you the materials that you will need. You will need to start with some holiday fabric. We're going to be using this one today. You will want a coordinating ribbon. I have some red gross green ribbon here. You will want a coordinating thread, some straight pins, a pair of fabric scissors, an iron, and I will be using my sewing machine. It is possible to sew these by hand if you don't have a sewing machine, but it goes a lot faster if you use your sewing machine. So let's get started. So here I have my fabric that we're going to be using, and here I have this nice tin of treats that's going to be my sample gift. And um, I don't have exact measurements that I use because I just base it off of whatever gift I'm wrapping at the time. So if I was wrapping this gift, what I would do is lay it on my fabric and just make sure that it reaches and covers the whole thing with a little bit of room to spare for your seam. So I'm going to cut right about here for the width. And for length, you want to go, let's move this down to the end of the fabric. You want to leave a little room here for the seam, and then you want to go about one and a half times the length of your item. So this is about one time, and then about another half. So we're going to cut across about here. Here we have the piece of fabric that we're going to sew to get our bag. Our next step is to make the top hem of the bag. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the top edge of your fabric and just fold it over a little bit like so. You see that there? Fold it over a little bit and iron a nice crease. And then we want to do that same thing one more time. So we're going to fold over again. And iron a nice crease. Now we can pin, sometimes it stays nicely by itself, but we'll put in a pin or two just to hold it in place. Now I'm going to bring it over to my sewing machine and I am going to sew one straight line near the top fold and one straight line near the bottom fold and that will hold my hem in place. Here I am at my sewing machine and I'm going to start by sewing the line at the top edge of my fabric and I always like to start with a little forward and back stitch and end the same way to hold the stitches in place like so and then I'm going to keep going along taking the pins out as I go. So as you can see, we now have our top hem stitching in. That's sewn up nicely. And what we're going to do next is fold our bag over so that it's in a regular bag shape and we're going to sew the sides up. So we want to start by laying it flat with the right side up. We are going to fold it in half. We're going to make sure that top hem edge is nice and lined up there. And I'm going to pin that in place. You want to make sure these edges are pretty even too. I never cut perfectly, so my edges are never perfect, but that's okay. That doesn't show once you have it stitched. So I'm going to put a few pins in to hold it in place. And what we're going to do now is head back over to the sewing machine, and we're going to sew down our open edges. So we're going to sew one line down our long edge, and then one line along the bottom, and then we'll have our bag sewed up into its shape. 
Now we have our side sewn up. You can see our stitching goes along there and along the bottom. And now we can turn our bag right side out. Before we do that, I always like to cut a little diagonal across the two bottom corners, like so. It's not really necessary, but when you turn it right side out, that will help the edges sit a little cleaner. And now I'm gonna turn my bag right side out. See, it makes those corners sit a little nicer if you clip that little diagonal edge. And here we have, we have our bag. We are now on our final step, which is to sew our ribbon onto our bag. So here I have my ribbon. And again, there's not an exact length here that I could give you, but what you want is um, you, want the, you want the ribbon to go from one end of the bag to the other, and then on either side, you want about twice this length. So we're gonna have about five times, about five times the width of the bag. So one, two, three, four, doesn't have to be exact, something like that. Sometimes I just add a little extra. Cut off our ribbon. You do want plenty of ribbon, because the way you fold it up, you need lots of ribbon. Now we're going to pin our ribbon onto the top layer of our hem here. And what we want to do is I like to find the middle of the ribbon by folding it in half. And then here I have the middle. And the middle of the ribbon goes right about in the middle of your bag and I'm going to pin that in place and then I'm going to put a pin uh, near this edge and one more pin near this edge. Now you want to make sure that you're only pinning through the top layer of your bag. You don't want to pin through or sew through both layers because then you're going to close up the opening of your bag. So what we are going to do is we're going to sew our ribbon onto the top layer of our bag here. So I'm gonna sew just like I did with the hem, I'm gonna sew two lines, one along the top edge of the ribbon from here to here, and one along the bottom edge of the ribbon from here to here, so that the ribbon is attached in the spot where it's pinned. Now, for this part of the sewing, my machine has this nice feature where this extra piece comes off, which makes it easier to fit our bag onto there because you're gonna to wanna to just sew through the one layer, so you're gonna to wanna to wrap the bag around that little edge there. And you're gonna start sewing where you have your first pin here. So I'm gonna start there where I have my first pin and I'm gonna sew one straight line. Again, I'm gonna start with a forward and back stitch and I'm gonna sew a straight line all the way down to our third pin. Okay, we have finished our gift bag. We have the ribbon sewed onto the top hem here. And we have our extra pieces hanging off the side. So let's put our present inside. Like so. We're going to flip it over, fold down the top, flip again, crisscross. And then we're going to tie a bow right here up where our other ribbon is. Well, I could have made this ribbon even a little longer, but that's all right. There we go. And there we have our wrapped gift bag. So when you give this to someone, they can keep the wrapping and it's reusable. You can throw it in the washing machine if you feel like it gets dirty and you can use it over and over again.